Welcome to the DLR webcast. So this year, this IGES, we are able to provide or to, to present the proof that this mission will achieve its main goal. We have done one global coverage and this data already showed that we will achieve the required performance or even supersede it. So in this last year, we managed to calibrate our radar interferometer to a very high precision. We, we really calibrated out the last millimeters and, and, and the uh, decrease in phase and, 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 and delays. And the consequence is that the, the, the scene-based DMs that we are producing now, that they are already very accurate. About 90% of them are within plus minus 10 meter with respect to the SRTM global DM or almost global DM. Uh, but this data will, in the, in the second step, will be further calibrated using the ISAT laser altimeter. So this is one, one part of, of, the, of, the con of the conclusions that we can draw from this conference. The other one is that uh, we see more and more scientists using this data and uh, uh, doing experiments with this system, because the system is very flexible, you can demonstrate new techniques uh, that are relevant for future missions, and we will see these new techniques on future missions, on future radar missions, because they are, they are key to achieving a, a, more, a better revisit, revisit and, and wider coverage for these future missions. Yeah, Tandem L is uh, getting more and more support from the German science community and they are really pushing for it and they really want this mission because when we, what we see here with Tandem X is that we, with Tandem X we add a, a third dimension to remote sensing. With Tandem X we, we, we have the first formation flight of radar satellites and that's, that's important to measure into the third dimension, to measure heights, but not only heights, because if we go on, we could look even into, say, vegetation canopy layers and even resolve vertical structures within this layer. So this is Tandem X. Now, what does Tandem L bring to this picture? Tandem L is more or less adding another dimension because with Tandem X, for example, we need one year to acquire one global coverage. Tandem L with new and revolutionary techniques will achieve that in one week. And then we can really, say, uh, investigate dynamic processes. We are here at the IGAS, which is under the, the, the main topic here of the conference is remote sensing for dynamic Earths. And with Tandem L, we will be able to observe and to monitor, to understand dynamics in this uh, Earth system. Okay, I, I would like to make it, uh, to nail it down for two, two applications. There are many others, but there are two uh, major applications that we see. And one is uh, measuring the global biomass that's, uh, that's stored in our, in our forest. Be because this is the major unknown in our carbon cycle at the moment. And with Tandem L, we will be able to measure the global biomass to a very high accuracy. The other element is the so-called differential interferometry, that at the current, with the current systems we can only perform it over urban areas where we have stable, mostly man-made targets. Now with the L-band, with the longer frequency, we will extend these techniques to all over the place and we will monitor seismic motion, we will investigate the processes behind seismic motions and also behind volcanism. And this is of course very important to understand these processes and maybe later even to come to forecasting and, and this stuff. Thank you. This was a DLR webcast.